Hi, my name is Michael Gambino. I'm the curator here at the Edith G. Reed Wildlife Sanctuary in Rye, New York. First of all, the sanctuary is uh, 179 acres. 85 of it is this lake that you see here. So uh, it is an, um, the nursing island is the land portion. Okay, and uh, in the 1920s when playland was being built, they dredged what used to be a salt marsh. So the area of this lake used to be salt marsh. They dredged that up in order to make a lake for boating and swimming. Along came Edith Reed, uh, who's a conservationist and an environmentalist. And she campaigned uh, and you know, basically convinced the county to set this property aside as a wildlife habitat, as a sanctuary for the animals. Uh, I got a few questions for you. Uh, First one, how did you get into this field of work? Basically, I've always been interested in nature, always loved nature. Um, even though I had a previous career, uh, I still kept being drawn to nature. So I eventually started to take my vacation time and, and go get training. Uh, I studied with people uh, who uh, taught me how to track animals, uh, some survival skills, wilderness survival skills and began working at the Trailside Nature Museum up at uh, Cross River. And uh, so I was up there for about nine years learning uh, uh, more and more about nature, animals, plants, habitats, and how everything kind of interlocked. Uh, so that's kind of how I got into that line of work. Uh, and I'm here now at the Edith Reed Sanctuary um, and doing more or less the same sort of thing in terms of education, uh, habitat management, and uh, trying to bring people and nature closer together. Is there something about the geography of uh, the Reed Sanctuary that attracts migrating birds? I think the position of the sanctuary uh, is what's important. It's on the migrating uh, uh, migration route of a lot of birds that come down from the north and pass through the area on their way south, either to Costa Rica, South America, Florida, other points south. Uh, so it happens to be here. It's a, it's a sanctuary, so there's places for them to find food, water, shelter, places for them to nest. Uh, Long Island Sound uh, provides food for some of the birds, and the lake here also provides uh, opportunities for them for uh, sanctuary. When do the birds come and uh, how long do they stay and when and why do they live? Okay, well the birds are on their migrating uh, cycle. So in winter, most, a lot of birds pass through this area flying south. They need to find uh, warmer climates uh, to conserve their energy uh, to get through the winter. They need uh, sources of food. Up here in the, in the north, northeast, um, we have a, a deciduous uh, forests a lot, so there's a lot less food available. So the birds have to go where the food is. So that's why they pass through here in the winter. They also come back up in the spring as well. A lot of times birds will, uh, you know, either fly north or south for breeding purposes. Um, there's a lot of different species, so it's hard for me to get specific, but um, the lake is important for a lot of wintering ducks. They come down from Canada or uh, upstate New York and other areas north. They like the open water. They obviously, if it's not frozen, they can find food as well. 
uh, and it's a it's a protected area uh, compared to the open waters of Long Island Sound, which can get uh, kind of uh, rough sometimes during the day. So they will find sanctuary here in the lake and then fly out in the evening uh, to feed uh, in Long Island Sound. How is the sanctuary funded? Well, the sanctuary is owned and operated by Westchester County and basically my salary is paid by the county. I'm a county employee. Um, the uh, community, the local community, supports the, we have a friends board uh, and so they help with things that the county maybe can't really do. Uh, so they do some fundraising, they have membership dues and things like that. And so I can go to the board uh, if I need something specific, uh, a little bit of help here or there, or you know, purchase a piece of equipment. Um, but the county uh, pays my salary and, and owns the sanctuary. Why do visitors come here? There's a lot of different reasons people come to the sanctuary. Uh, mostly because they love being in nature. Some people come here for exercise, they walk down the roads and on the trails and do some hiking. Um, other people come for photography, bird watching, uh, we offer educational programs at the Nature Center. Uh, so there's a lot of different reasons. A lot of it though has to do with, I think, people just connecting with nature again. So. I guess the, the last thing I would say is that uh, the sanctuary offers people of all ages a place to get away from the busy life that we have out there uh, between school and work and sports and all the different activities. It's nice to come to the sanctuary, slow down a little bit, have uh, some quiet time in nature and watch the birds.